Hello everyone, in this video we'll study the chapter 7 of class 3rd EVS that is saying without speaking. So here we are first reading about a game called Dump Shards. Now let us play a game. In this game everyone has to let others know what they want to tell without speaking. So you need to divide yourself into a group of 7 and the teacher will give each group a piece of paper with a situation written on it and then you need to read the paper and prepare a silent act and keep in mind that you cannot speak and you can express through your face and body actions when all the groups are ready with their act they have to perform one by one in front of other groups and the others will have to guess what is being acted out and then you need to tell whether you liked the game or not and was it difficult for you to act without speaking or not. Then you need to look at the picture given on your textbook and the children in the picture are talking to each other through actions. So then you need to say that whether have you seen anyone talking through actions or when do people need to talk like this. So we can see that the two children are talking through actions now what they're saying is when do people need to talk like this they need to talk like this when they cannot speak so this is why people usually speak like this then we have most of us can hear and speak but there are some people who can neither hear nor speak so these people talk through their actions they understand what the other person is saying by studying their lip movements and all of us cannot do everything some of us might sing well others might write well some can climb trees quickly while others can run fast some can draw well while others can sing in tune so we all are special in our own ways hence school in schools we can learn from each other like all children children who cannot speak and hear also go to school to read and write in school sign language is also taught to them so let us read about a child who cannot hear yet who can do many things so i have a sister my sister cannot hear so the poem goes like i have a sister my sister is deaf she's special they're not many sisters like mine my sister can play the piano she likes to feel the deep rumbling chords but she'll never be able to sing she cannot hear the tune she likes to leap to tumble to roll to climb up the top of the monkey bars now my sister has started going to school although our mother still helps her lip read at home so here she's telling her about us about a small sister who's not able to hear but she's yet telling that she's special in her own ways and she's very good in playing piano and she's in love with the tune but she cannot sing because she cannot hear then the teacher and children do not understand every word she says like sister or water or thumb i wore my sunglasses yesterday the frames were very large the lenses were very black my sister made me take them off when i spoke what do my brown eyes say to her brown eyes so basically in the end she is giving us a message that even at even when the pe those people are special they look into our eyes and they can say how what are we trying to say they can feel it they have some special powers within them so that's why when she was wearing sunglasses her sister took them off and was looking at her brown eyes so that she can look at her expressions and know what exactly she's trying to say so our ties our eyes tell a lot of small children tell a lot through their face and hands even before they learn to speak they understand a lot too so now the face is a mirror observe children of about six to eight months in your area and how do they express themselves so basically now there's a face given with no mouth and no eyes no face what you need to do is you need to draw the exceptions along with the description given over there so just this is a fun activity all you need to do is you need to imagine a face someone will have when they're facing that similar situation and draw it according to you so this is Aftab his favorite toy has fallen down and broken he's sad how will his face look so we need to draw a sad face on Aftab's face similarly we have other instances also so then next what we have to do is we need so next we need to look at some of the mudras and they are dance mudras and you need to do them with the help of your dance teacher after that we have pictures and you need to make your own story and discuss with your friends so basically 
I'll give you example like you can write once upon a time on a huge tree there lived a joyous squirrel she used to dance sing run and laugh all day long one day she decided to cook something good she invited her friends rats men and crow to enjoy the feast they all loved having food together so this is how you can make a story with this we are done with the chapter and i hope it is clear to you that's all thank you